Hi there. Earlier in this series, we joined up with our friends Chris and Emily to head into British Columbia's interior in search of fruit. Our trip in the summer was cut short by the wildfire season, but now fall has arrived and the fires are under control. In this video, Mel chauffeurs me around for my birthday as we drive south through Summerland, then to a beautiful walking trail in Penticton, and finally to Oliver, where we visit a wine village with 13 wineries. It's morning of day three of our little trip here, and it's also Jason's birthday. I'm gonna cook him an eggs and hash brown breakfast, and then we're going out and we're gonna do some wine tasting today. So Mel said she's my chauffeur today, and she said, where do you wanna go? And all he said was, let's just drive south. No destination <laughs> programmed into the GPS. Which is very uncharacteristic of him. We normally have a destination, it gets programmed in so that we get the live traffic updates, and we go. We're today? going wild today. He's rogue. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to boondock in Summerland, this is not the place. Positively, no overnight camping allowed. You think they're sure? Look at these mushrooms. I wonder if they're poisonous. I, I would not attempt to eat any kind of mushroom that is just growing anywhere. So this is the beach in Summerland pretty nice. We saw a sign that said beach, so we followed it. So a little ways down there's a sandy beach and there's these pier type things that go out onto the water. We're trying to figure out their purpose. Maybe someone out there knows. I think it's for kayaks and canoes. Well, and it looks like it's in like a swimming area, but it's nice and sandy here, whereas a lot of the rest is rocky. Oh, look, there's a fish. Where? You can see right down there. Oh, it's a good sized one. Yeah. Birds apparently like it. Yeah, there's lots of bird doo doo. We are checking out the Kettle Valley Rail Trail in Penticton, and it goes right through a winery. This way. Let's check that out. The Trail Fruit and More store. All right. Mm. Clever marketing. Well, these are hops. How do you know they're hops? Because I've seen them before. Where? Where did I see them? At the Chilliwack Sunflower Festival. How's the wind? It's a little windy. I'm on top of Penticton! <laughs> Is it windy? What do you think? <laughs> There's just a little bit of wind up here on Munson Mountain. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying with all the wind. It's a very nice view though. Coming into the district wine village, home to up to 13 wineries. 13 wineries, one brewery and an eatery, all in one spot. It's like the perfect tasting opportunity. Seems kind of cool. Yeah. Let's check it out. Well, that finishes up our tasting at the Ink Meep Winery. So it is actually the first indigenous owned and operated winery in North America. Very nice setting here, very nice winery in the district wine village. 
Mel is making me a wonderful birthday dinner and we're starting it with salad because we're healthy. <laughs> or at least we pretend we are. Here comes the chicken. Mm. Chicken Swiss or cordon bleu. <laughs> cordon bleu. Cordon bleu. <laughs> and chicken Kiev. Chicken cordon bleu is one of my favorite meals. Got some cauliflower and broccoli. We've got a homemade cheese sauce to go on it. Now we need to smother the broccoli so we can't even see it anymore because of the cheese. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's more like it. Oh yeah. Well make sure you have enough cheese for you too. I don't think that's a problem. I do. Oh, what's out there, Benny? Something caught your attention. Is there any cheese sauce left over? Yes. You're sick. You're a sick man. It's a heart attack on a plate. Benny, are you joining us? And what is the wine pairing for this evening? We've got a Red Horse Vineyard Runaway Rosé. It's from about 45 minutes from here. It's the <laughs> best rosé that we have had. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, look at this amazing cake Mel made me for my birthday. I cannot wait to get my hands into it. I might actually use a fork. Here. Well, there you have it. We have finally completed the full fruit loop. Or have we? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we have. <laughs> yeah, so this was just a wonderful birthday trip and uh, we had such beautiful weather. It's a little cloudier today, so clearly it's time to go home. Yep, let's so, go. Let's get on the road. Yeah. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, of course. It tells YouTube that you like our videos and it will share it with other people just like you. It will. And in the meantime, keep, keep on, on living, living the, the life you've, you've imagined. imagined. We'll see you in the next one. And I was very impressed with that last one. What was it again? Operated. <laughs> the wind is very distracting. Rosia apple. Slushies. Slushies. It's morning of our, what day is today? 